اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اللہ صلی اللہ سیدنا محمد و علی محمد So today I wanted to make a video on the absolute hypocrisy and narcissism of board members, uh, masjid board members in America. And particularly I'm going to talk about examples from New Orleans. So for the last 15 years, as a lot of you know, is I've been dealing with sociopathic hierarchy in my family, narcissistic family dynamics, where I'm the black sheep, even though I'm the only one who speaks the truth, is honest, is caring, is loving, is affectionate. I'm the one who gets all the blame put on my head for things that are being done to me. Okay, so I went to the board members or I went to two people whose sons I knew when I was younger and they happened to be board members, one on the East Bank of New Orleans, one on the West Bank of New Orleans. And both of these people are short, bearded, one's a pharmacist, one's a doctor, and they're both hypocritical pieces of shit, basically. Uh, hypocritical pieces of shit is uh, basically I went to both of them and I told both of them up front exactly what's been happening with my dad the way my family organizes around him to support everyone to support him against me and what I'm looking for is support not like financial support but psychological support and backing to back these people off of me for what they've been doing to me you know, and to have some type of fair and just resolution. And basically all what the first person did, the doctor, the first person, what the first person did is he took me back. Uh, he took me, um, he basically took me back to my dad and he tried to get us to get along again and then just bounced, just totally ran off. He did exactly what I told him wouldn't work and what not I didn't want done and for him not to ha help. But he stuck in long enough to get all the juicy details to probably go around telling other people, even though that doesn't seem like him. But he did everything he he did everything that I asked him not to do and then basically abandoned the process. Right. Not willing to acknowledge what had happened and not willing to do anything about it. You know, and that's the injustice of Muslim board members. Like you won't have an imam. Actually, what a masjid should have is an imam or a pastor. We shouldn't be Presbyterians, you know, where we don't believe in these councils and board members who get to determine all the affairs. And the imam is just this like this cuckolded puppy and, you know, who just leads the salah. You know, the imam is supposed to be the amir of the masjid. But anyways, these board members... So I went to him, finally after seven or eight months, he just completely didn't close the matter out, didn't tell me he was balancing, didn't tell me like he was done facilitating or anything. And basically we only met with him twice. And he totally just went off. Now this other person I went to, the pharmacist, he's known me since I was a little kid. He knows that I'm the only one who's religious in my family. This man has a beard, he goes to Salah five times a day at the masjid, but he's a total hypocrite. When I went to him, he didn't want to do anything to hold my father responsible, but rather instead of looking at the fact that I was 32 years old and unmarried, he wanted to look at the fact that I wasn't working and I wasn't doing anything because of the position my father had repeatedly put me in. And I'm not going to try to go into that right now, right? But instead of looking at the, the, the absolute facts of the situation, he wanted to look at the relative facts of the situation. And he wanted to construe the same character about me that my father was pushing, but he didn't want to openly acknowledge it. So he passively, aggressively, whenever he would meet with me, he would passively and aggressively try to suggest flaws in my character and why I was the real one at fault, but he wouldn't come out and say it. You know, he wouldn't come out and say it. And so basically the hypocrisy, the immense hypocrisy of board members of masjids in America, where they don't want to help anyone do anything. They don't want to help someone who is a Muslim. They don't want to help against a Zalim. They don't want to speak against the Zalim. They don't want to speak the truth in the face of a Zalim. They use their own authority to do Zulm. 
right? And they're total hypocrites, right? They're total hypocrites. They have no iman. They have no love of the Ahl al-Bayt and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa You know, they have no understanding. They have no fiqh. They have no ilm. But they're the board members. They're the ones who hold power. And that's the problem with Sunniism in general, is that people who are jahil, don't have ilm, are not the real imams of the muttaqeen, are allowed to be amirs. Why should, how come in an Islamic masjid or an Islamic state, how can power be given to the person who is not the most muttaqeen? How can the amir be someone who is a pragmatist, is a politician, is a zalim? How can he have power and the person who has taqwa doesn't have power? Right? The whole point of the Islamic state is that the muttaqi is supposed to have power. And the adil is supposed to have power. Right? But in, in the masjids of America, which are totally Protestant nasab- nasabis, you know, even the Sufi masjids are halfway to n- nasabism. They don't honor the ahl bad They don't care about the ahl bad You know, they don't believe in a special muqam for the ahl bad So I just wanted to make this short video on why I believe that the 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 Muslim board members in American masjids are mostly monafics, especially in New Orleans, and uh, they we need to change the system. We need imams. You know, churches have pastors. Muslim masjids need imams who lead the ummah and also have amar, and they should have a shura, right? They should have a shura, but the person appointed. For the imama of the salah should have the amr of the jamaat. The person who has the imama of the salah should have the amr of the jamaat. And the person should, one person should be chosen who is best qualified for both of these roles. And then he should appoint his own shura. He should appoint his own shura. Anyways, I will talk to you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.